pretty much everybody out there knows what a check engine light is in your car and basically what it represents. If it comes on, check engine light means there's a code stored, means you need to figure it out what's going on because it's trying to tell you and alert you to a problem. Something it doesn't like is going on. So people know that uh, it's an important tool. It's a nice tool to have in the car, check engine light, and that um, it shouldn't be on. So when it comes on, that you need to take a look and see why it's on, to see what it's related to. Why did it come on? Why is it on? Right? Well, your body kind of, sort of, has something like that to alert you when things just aren't quite right. Your body kind of has its own check engine light, if you will. Uh, and that is the color of your urine stream. Color of your stream. And it's not just about color, it's also about smell, etc. But uh, basically, if you're just concerned about the color, if you pay attention to that, you're paying attention to plenty. Because most people really aren't paying enough attention to it. And as um, a bodybuilder, or somebody that's interested in building more muscle, or somebody that's sweating a lot and is um, easily subject to dehydration, um, you have more muscle, you can hold more water. If you have more muscle, you're going to hold more glycogen. And what is glycogen? Glycogen is basically carbs and water. For every molecule of, you know, glucose or gly that your body can drag into a, into the muscle, it pulls like two to three, usually about two molecules of water with it. So water is really important. The more muscle you have, the more you're going to hold. The more glycogen you're going to hold. I hold quite a bit of glycogen. If you want to stay out of trouble and you want to maintain your health. And you want to kind of keep an eye on things and you don't want to um, have needless additional wear and tear on your organs, watch your stream. Your stream is very important to everybody, but especially so to older people. As we get older, like right now, it's very important to me, my stream, I watch it daily. And it needs to be clear. Now, you, you don't have to have it completely clear. Like if you're drinking four gallons of water a day, that's too much. And then it's, you certainly, most certainly, it's going to be clear. But if you just drink enough that it's pretty clear, that it's about clear, very basically it's clear most of the day, it's pretty clear, then you're good. Um, urine is generally, it, the particles that the body's trying to rid itself of, think of it as like um, almost like a, a powder that you might mix with water, basically, and it's yellow in color. So more water is going to mean that it's going to be lighter and clearer looking, um, a lighter tint of yellow. Less water, not enough water, you're going to have a darker, more pronounced yellow, all the way into, you know, an orangish color. Um, now, if you have your kidneys under duress, or your liver under duress, or even an infection in the body, is going to influence the appearance of your stream. So that's why you know, the stream is a pretty early indicator something bad can be going on or something you need to pay attention to and look at and figure out what's going on. And yes, you could be on medication. You could be putting something in your body with a dye or a color to it that could influence the color of your stream. But that would be unusual. I mean, you shouldn't be walking around just on medication um, most of the duration of your life, probably. That would discolor your urine. And... Uh, you probably, I've never seen my urine discolored from dyes or because I ate too many beets or rhubarbs or something like this. I eat a lot, or blackberries. I eat a lot of uh, blueberries, a lot of blueberries, and I haven't seen any discoloration my, to my stream because of it. Um, body's mostly water, muscles mostly water, so people tend to pay more attention and, and, and um, and award more uh, credit and more importance to their protein intake and how much protein and how frequently they're putting the protein in the body than they do to how well hydrated they are and how much water they're consuming. Now, yeah, you could go to an extreme. Like I said before, you don't want to drink four gallons of water a day, three gallons of water a day. It's too much. So generally what I do, I want to make sure I'm drinking enough water that my stream is, is basically clear. My stream's basically clear, and um, I kind of uh, I'm at that borderline. 
you know, throughout the day, that it's kind of very, 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 very pale yellow, and it's kind of clear, pale yellow, clear. And that's a good thing. That's where you want to be. So that's, that's uh, very important. But it's an early indicator of all kinds of stuff going on, like I said, an infection in the body or, or anything like that. Um, duress placed on your kidneys or your liver. You're going to see it in your stream before it becomes so bad that it's going to be, uh, you know, permanent damage or anything. So when you see that, it's like check engine light popping on. If you don't want to end up on the side of the road broken down, not going anywhere, you probably want to go get it checked and just see what it is. It could be something really uh, important for you to address that you really must look at and correct, or it could be something less important. So that's, um, that's what you should watch. That's the body's check engine light as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned, water and hydration is much, much, much more important than protein. You can go without food for 30 days. Uh, before you just drop dead around about uh, You're only going to be able to go without water like three or four days and you're probably going to die So you got to have that water things will start to shut down Got to have that water So I think one of the biggest mistakes people make is they don't pay uh, Enough credence to how much water they're taking in and what their stream looks like that stream should be clear now if that stream looks like cola That's horrible terrible bad and that can mean all kind of stuff liver liver failure, you know, all kind of problems. If it looks uh, red, pink, that could be blood. If it's like a really like a brown color, that could be old blood. You could have a tumor, you could have some kind of damage, maybe a crushing injury. You know, there's all kind of stuff going on. Most of that stuff, you're already going to know that you've had an event, you've had trauma and a problem. So pretty much you just want a little bit of extra insurance, keep that stream clean. Um, also, there's another thing you can do to help keep it clean that works really well is a lot of antioxidants. Okay, like every day I eat an entire bag of frozen organic blueberries every day. Um, every day I eat an entire bag of frozen organic kale every single day. Leafy green vegetables in that, in that form with the fiber and uh, the blueberries, a really awesome antioxidant. That really, really, really helps keep my stream clean. That, that I can consume less water, believe it or not, as long as I'm drinking that. And yeah, my body's still getting water out of it, but um, the ratio is not the same proportionally because the, the antioxidant effect of, of both of those foods is uh, so powerful and so strong and has such a positive impact and influence on my body. So that's, that's you know, one of the key advices I would give is pay attention to your stream. Um, a well hydrated, hydrated muscle is gonna be a muscle that's more capable of uh, performing at a peak level without injury, less chance of injury. More, a better hydrated muscle is a healthier muscle overall. It's gonna be more elastic muscle. And not only that, but even just visually, a well hydrated muscle is going to be a larger, fuller muscle, rounder muscle. Um, so it, it, there's no downside to it. Stay hydrated, watch the water. Uh, if you're one of these people that believes because you're using some kind of vitamin supplement, and you're uh, urinating some kind of fluorescent color because of it, that's not normal. Um, it's only normal when it's normalized uh, in the regard that you're not absorbing that vitamin. You're not absorbing that product. Uh, like I said, now the sport formula that I use now, and um, there are probably other things out there, but because it's raw and it's cold processed uh, and live enzymes, I don't have that problem. So that shows me I'm absorbing that. Whereas before, in the past, previous vitamins I have used, that I, I thought it was just normal to see that discoloration from it. It's not. It's normal in that you're normalizing something that's really not the best, most healthful approach. Because that means that you're not absorbing that. And uh, no matter how small it is, you know, small things add up uh, in, in, the, in the larger totality of things. You can't really see the muscle grow, but every workout you're doing some damage and it's healing and it is growing. And over a period of time, it can make a drastic difference. Well, all these little teeny influences, they can also make a drastic difference over a period of time. So, you know, when you're, when you're seeing your vitamins in your urine discolored, that's placing some stress. That's placing some stress on the body because it's being worked. It has to try to filter and rid the body of this. It couldn't be absorbed. Okay? So, all these things add up, I believe. Um, what do you have to lose? You have everything to gain, and if you're trying to stick around a while and you want to be as healthy as possible for as long as possible, it's just one really uh, no-frills, no-expense, foolproof method. 
is just to stay hydrated on a daily basis and watch that stream, monitor that stream.